Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sportsnet News. I'm Joe Boric, and our 76ers started it off with a bang as Tyrese Maxey and also Tobias Harris. And, of course, the MVP, Joel Embiid, are the stars of the game. James Harden, of course, played well as well, but he took a little bit longer to come along in the game where Maxey, Tobias, and Embiid played good through and through in my own opinion, from the first half to the finish, where Harden did, did finish with a double-double of 22 and 14. It took a, bit, a little bit longer to come along. Maxi almost dropped 40, um, starting his first playoff game, I believe, as a starter. He might have, I don't think he started when he played in the playoffs in the past, but either way, fantastic game from Maxi, almost 40 points, 38, 4, and 2. Absolutely electric. He's the first star of the game, for sure, in this game. He just took the ball, also had the great drives that you saw in the regular season. He showed no fear driving the hole in the postseason either, and that is fantastic to see from King Tyrese in the first game. Then you had Tobias Harris making good fadeaways. That sick fadeaway move, he also had six assists, six boards, a steal, and a block as well. Definitely one of the best productive games we've seen from him in a postseason in a Sixers uniform through and through as well. So having those two things together makes it tremendous. And MB then was able to actually take a little bit of a step back today and go 19-15-4 and four because Maxi went ballistic and bonkers. So did Toby. And then Harden was able to pick it up late and Shake Milton was able to give you 10 off of the bench as well. And then Paul Reed was able to play a solid 10 minutes of 3 and 3 ball, 3 points, 3 rebounds. He also had a steal and a block, so he was able to give you a solid 10 minutes to spell and beat. Five will play good defensively, as you would expect them to do, and Gorge Niang was able to add 8 off of the bench. So the depth actually was able to get it done, where against Toronto, the big reason we were 3 and 4 against them this year is it was too top-heavy for the Sixers, and they were not able to get crap from the bench. Well, in this game, they did get it from Shake Milne, they got it from Niang, they got great defense from Maxi. Danny Green still did absolutely nothing. Um, Milton played good. Paul Reed played good when he came in. So they're getting it done. My biggest concern for this series is away. How do we do without Matisse Seibel since Danny Green is literally just tough to watch at this point compared to what he used to be before I put that out on JJ Board 26 on Twitter if you want to follow me there as well. But on my Twitter during the game, it's just hard to watch him now because he's a shell of his former self. And he's really going to have to step up in those game threes and fours that Matisse is not able to play in. But in this game, Matisse did his job, played great defensively for 18 minutes, and did exactly what we need. Joe Embiid, I would say, was probably tied with Harden but as the third star of this game, but probably more likely he would give it to Embiid because he controlled more of the overall game, having a double-double where Harden came on late, like I said. So I'd say you give Embiid the third star, definitely give Tyrese the first star, and then give the second star to Toby Tobias Harris, who I've been tough on a time if you check my history with my channel, but definitely deserves the credit where credit is due here in this game. Great first game by our Philadelphia 76ers. The MVP was able to take a step back because Tyrese Maxey was the MVP of Game 1 for the postseason for the Philadelphia 76ers. This has been the latest Sixers podcast by Sports Fanatic News. Please have a great, safe, pleasant day, everybody, and let's keep it going. Let's go up 2-0 Philadelphia. Peace out, everybody.